what's up everybody it's Joshua Healy here and I'm back with another video you know the vibes thank you for subscribing to my channel those of you who are new to my channel welcome we're keeping full positivity good vibes all that great stuff over here thank you for everybody who's been supporting the video and the support in the channel like I've been getting messages I really appreciate you guys thank you for commenting everybody engaging I love you for that so previously I've been doing makeup therapy videos and you know it's been going pretty well you know, I seem to be really enjoying it and I said I was going to try out doing a makeup video with me actually telling you what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, the products, yada 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 if I like it so that's what we're going to do today. So if you like this look because I'm telling you I feel good right now okay if you like this look stay tuned because I'm going to show you how I created it and um, yeah I think I look pretty good so make sure that you subscribe. <laughs> Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. You heard what he said. Come on now, let's get into it. Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I hide and I've been crying. All right. So basically, what's happening right now is um, I kind of thought I was recorded and I wasn't sure if I should re-record it because I had already done one eyebrow but yeah I just decided to just continue ahead and go on with it so basically yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and this time we're gonna talk about all the stuff I'm using like I said that makeup brush I mean that eyebrow pencil is nearly finished um and it's from I'm not gonna lie kind of ashamed to say this but I got it from Wilco's <laughs> um the brand is Essence it costs like a pound fifty um it was one of those rush products but it works pretty well so let me not say I'm ashamed because it works. It does what it has to do. Um, I actually just bought another one. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, no, it works pretty well. And then obviously, I like my eyebrows to be like fluffy in the front. Like I don't want it to be like sharp and squarish. So I just go ahead with the brush and you know, just go ahead and like fluff it out basically. Now, of course, concealer LA Girl is a brand that everybody is familiar with, or well, most people anyway. And that is what I use to go under. I think the color that I use is toffee. And this cute little um, palette thing I'm using, I got off AliExpress. It's like a new purchase for me. It's because of the person I'm actually using it. But it was such a good idea because basically, obviously, you know, like more time, I will just use my hand and then I'll be finished with my makeup, go to get ready. And then the flickering, the flipping um, uh, makeup's on my um, hand and then it's getting all over my clothes that's not cute ma'am so yeah go ahead and get you one of those and of course we're just taking the flat brush and we're going to carve out those eyebrows and then i'll buff it out later but no i feel like my eyebrows i love doing like i take my time with my eyebrows and recently i've been doing like a darker shade at the top so i'm actually going to take my bobby brown foundation and do that on top because yeah it just makes it look more natural and yeah hubby called me and i'm gonna just put him on speaker <laughs> so if you see my lips moving it's kind of target to my boo so yeah i don't like do fully bobby brown like i still blended it with a little bit of that concealer and um yeah just gonna go and carve out the top of those eyebrows sometimes i don't even do that i don't lie oh look at my edges though and we're gonna soup the whoop right so yeah at this point i take my brush my brush that look like a brush to you you know what i mean my beauty blender and just go ahead and buff that out again i thought i would speed that one up for you because it was just taking long like i take a long time blending and i feel like that's what makes it, the makeup look seamless and when i really got time and i can blend 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 baby that's when you get that good 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 face honey like you have to blend take your time blending is everything you can never blend too much put it that way you can never blend too much you, like if you blend too much that means and you to the point where you've blended the product away on a face then just add some more and even then even then like another layer it's like it is what it is um so yeah i've been doing my foundation i've been loving the brush for my foundation recently like it just seems to give a seamless look it just seems to look buffed it just seems to blend it i don't know i just feel like and also i feel like i kind of have a bit more control with the brush so yeah i like this flat brush which i got i got like a pack from like amazon ages ago i need to buy new brushes and i also need to clean my brushes because baby <laughs> let's pretend we don't see it but um yeah I um I do like the brush. I use the beauty blender like for my under eye, but like for my face, yeah. And you see, I'm taking forever. Like I've sped this up for you guys. Like the blending takes a minute. It takes a minute. 
Now for this process, what I found I really do enjoy is using the angled, um, an angled brush. And you can use any angled brush, of course. It doesn't matter if you get it from Primark, it doesn't matter if you get it from um, Morphe, uh, Yves Saint Laurent, Dior Honey. The technique is in your wrist, baby. You've got to blend it out. These from Amazon, these are just some regular, regular brushes. What I would recommend is that you don't get the synthetic ones because they're just rubbish. Like they've got to be able to have some structure to them and yeah go forth and blend now this is also kind of a new thing that i'm doing i kind of got it from jackie where i take like a lighter concealer which is the rimmel um rimmel uh true match stay perfect something like that i'm gonna put it on the screen um and that one kind of just goes in the inner corner and then we just go ahead and blend that out again just so you get that extra pop like right in the corner of your eye because as you see the concealer that i put in you really can't see that much it's really not giving what it's supposed to give so considering i was going to go out today and oh, I, don't, I don't even remember where i went i went somewhere i thought yeah let's give it an extra you know what i mean this now for contouring i find it hard to find a shade so i'm going to mix them together because i i just don't feel like i find my shade but that right there that's my shade ignore my brush okay ignore my brush. don't judge me this is a no judgment zone okay it does what it needs to do and until i buy a new one okay that's what we got going on and i don't contour like my whole face like i don't do under my chin i literally only do my nose and my cheekbones and yeah i don't do my forehead because i've got a small forehead more time i've got my edges all laid and as you can see clearly <laughs> we got a whole lot going on on my forehead today so we're not gonna um mess that up and yeah then to blend it out on my cheek, I would recommend you using like a flat brush, like I'm gonna show you. It's just like, yeah, still flat brush. It works good for my contour of my cheeks. I find it just effective. And the fact that it's long, it just, it just works. It does what it needs to do. It just works with you, not against you. I feel like, you know, when you're getting, when you're doing your contour, you, you are kind of going like for a line. So it just makes sense to use a brush that, you know, is kind of flat and kind of tape it in a line you know what i mean okay i'm not a makeup artist okay i never said i was but basically that is the brush that i go for i actually need to buy new brushes so you guys feel free to put some brushes in the comments box below because i am terrible when it comes to trying to find brushes knowing what to get i don't like spending my money and i don't like experimenting so i would dead ass just buy the same brushes that i bought <laughs> um from amazon but no i want to upgrade my brushes and this brush I probably got from like, I think I got it from like Savers. Yeah, please help me out. <laughs> I mean, it does what it needs to do. I literally just needed to just kind of um, soften that line in my contour. It was looking a bit harsh, but to be quite honest, I feel like I'm making it too dark. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead with my concealer again, you'll see, and just kind of brighten up the middle again, because I feel like, it's giving a bit too. It's the the nose is becoming very harsh. I feel like sometimes when I contour my nose, it'd be looking snatched, and I'd be like, "Yes, good." And then other times I'm like, "Yeah, girl, you made your nose look bigger than what it was. How you do that?" <laughs> I think it's so easy to do that, but I think I've got it. I think it's looking like, you know, <laughs> what I wanted to look like. Um. So yeah. I'm really loving this ponytail. I feel like what am I doing next? It probably should be my setting powder. And obviously I'm using the Laura Mercier. The color I have is honey. So I think that's medium. Um, it's not the, the white one. It's actually the one with that yellow golden undertone. And I was like, so like, what one do I buy? Do I get the medium? Do I get the dark? For the I was like, oh, it was a lot. But that's the one I settled with. And I'm replacing my Bobbi Brown one which, not Bobby Brown, what was it? I don't even remember. The one I was using in my previous videos, you should know, you guys know what I'm talking about. I like it. It's definitely lighter and brighter. Um, when it comes to actually like the creasing and like does it actually do what it's supposed to do, I'll be honest, because it's so bright, I use it like so lightly. Um, so I'm gonna get back to you on it. <laughs> As for the blush, I'm using the Sleek Palette brush and I've had this blush for a very long time. I love it. I love a blush. Like, I feel like anybody that said that black girls should not wear blush should really just go and have several seeds because they lied, okay? 
blush looks so cute on black girls and i love it back to my um you know pencil that's finished <laughs> i normally don't use brown on my lips but i can't find my like pencil yeah there's a lot of shambles going on um you know behind the scenes but <laughs> it is what it is we're gonna make it work <laughs> we will not quit <laughs> And this lipstick is Rimmel, I think. Was it Maybelline? I think it's Rimmel. And it's just a cute little brown colour. I normally shy away from like doing nudes because I feel like my lips are kind of big and they just look a bit like dry. But I like this combo. Sometimes I put like a lighter pink in the middle. But right now, as you can see, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Uh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> it was doing what I needed to do. I'm feeling cute and um yeah but we need lashes we definitely need lashes we definitely need a shadow i think so let's see what kind of colors i'm gonna do i literally recorded this video so long ago i don't even remember what i'm doing but this morphe palette i tell you one thing it's got every look like every look you can do every look with this palette i love it and it's the 3505 one i think um i'll put it on the screen what exactly it is but yeah it's got like all the nude all the rounds um why am i saying pause what happened oh yeah i needed to um do the um the base so that is basically the omar concealer now i bought that concealer and it was the wrong shade i bought it for concealer but i had to buy it online and you know who on god's green earth buys makeup online like what are we doing here what was i thinking so obviously it was way too light so i just kind of use it as a base for my eyeshadow and i'm telling you i was trying so hard to pat so carefully because me see me i'm prone to headache eh? and patting this thing on my eye it was doing a lot it was doing a lot but um yeah take your time with that one because you do want to blend out your base nicely because otherwise your eyeshadow can look crazy if you don't blend out the um if you're gonna use a base blend it out i recently picked up the elf um base and yeah i'm excited i haven't actually used it yet but i'm excited to see how it you know holds up with that short product ignore my palette okay it just ignore me no judgment okay this is judgment free zone <laughs> okay and we're going in with the transition color which is nice i love using this color for transition i feel like it's so natural it blends everything so seamlessly um this brush is from primer but it's actually like perfect for like getting that seamless crease i mean like i said i do want new brushes but at the same time i truly believe it's more about the technique than the actual brush that's why i'm not so fast about like buying fancy brushes and so basically what i'm doing now is i'm going to go in with like a more rich color for that outer corner and kind of darken up that crease and give it more depth because yeah i like doing that and i was taking my time today so and that's what we're working with it's so crazy because like i had done this look so long ago so long ago you guys i've been stuck doing uni work and that's been like it's just been a mess but i'm finally finished it feels so good it feels so good to say that i'm finally finished year two of uni so yeah i'm back on my game okay video is going to be popping out instagram is going to be lit so make sure that you're following me at it's just Rahila and instagram and it's just Rahila on tiktok as well because tiktok will be lit and yeah you see the vibe i'm just putting like a shimmer color in the middle because i like that's my go-to we do a matte transition darken up the outer corner put a shimmer on the um lid at the center and yeah when i'm trying to be all cute and professional i try to go ahead and match the darkest color that i've used on my eyeshadow for my um lower lash lid what do you call that thing yeah my under eye basically you know the vibes hair glue <laughs> okay for the eyelashes my sisters know what i'm talking about okay we don't use that white stuff <laughs> we don't use that white stuff <laughs> don't come and kill me don't come for me in the comments okay you know what i'm talking about this glue i don't care what no one says it is the it's just the legit i'm not changing for nobody don't care if it's supposed to be for hair okay and that's what i'm using it for and basically as you see i literally just like wet wet the, the nozzle because my nozzle is kind of blocked i ain't gonna lie and then you just kind of tap it on the lash line like really slowly i did cut my lashes because my eyes are small 
what most people cut the lashes and let me, let, me, let, me, let me not even talk nonsense i cut the lashes because i need to cut the lashes okay and you should probably too because normally it comes with like that little bit on the end and otherwise it'd be itching your eyes if you like leave it there so yeah i have these lash tweezers i'm not gonna lie i feel like they do more harm than good i prefer to use my finger or just a regular lash or regular tweezers um, i mean that's what you need to do but i'm not a big fan of these kind of tweezers for lashes like they're shaped in a way where you're like it's supposed to really help you but mm, i don't know you know the vibes we put the lashes in the middle first secure the outer i thought i had it and i didn't <laughs> go back girl and yeah then you go and place the the front you want to make sure that you are you know leaving it there for just a second if you can because this the one thing i do love about this glue is that it's so thick but it dries like in a good good time like it dries quickly um and i love that because it's thick you don't have to do much with this glue whereas the other stuff oh lord you gotta have proper techers <laughs> proper technique with that one um and yeah we're finished i don't have a lash off camera but you know the vibes i'm feeling myself i think i look very cute i think i really did that i don't know where i was going but <laughs> i was ready I was ready to be outside <laughs> but anyway thank you again for watching it's just for healer you know the vibes just so while i have your attention this channel is full of positivity. We're giving empowerment, we're giving love, we're giving energy, we're giving vibes. So if you want more, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss an upload. Follow me on Instagram. I would love to have you also TikTok. And yeah, I'm out. It's all love. Peace. And